Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're taking a look at another product sent out to me for review by Sun Energize. So this was a company that actually contacted me with regards to the Ufis battery powered cameras that I actually have installed and they actually produced a third party or their, their own version of a solar panel that actually works with those particular cameras. Now recently they actually con reached out again and contacted me with regards to this particular solar panel. So they, they pretty much just specialize in solar panels and this particular one is designed and sort of created for cars or RVs. Anything that you're going to have parked up for quite a while and you don't want the batteries depleting and basically this is set up to just trick or charge those particular types of vehicles. It has built in protections in order to make sure that you're not overcharging your batteries or anything like that. So it comes in just a plain cardboard box from Amazon and taking it out of the packaging we'll see what we actually get. Okay, so in the box, we do actually get the manual as well as um, quite a lot of information in terms of charging rates, how to set it up, what the best sort of usage is in your given scenario. And it also comes with instructions in terms of how to set up the different types of connections that you actually get with it. So you do get your normal terminal connections, which can be connected to any, any generic battery. So you do get the normal terminal connections just like that. The end of the actual main uh, solar panel has basically this sort of universal connector and that can basically be used in order to connect it up. No matter which type of end terminal you're actually using, it's the same connection in the middle. So you can just break that connection there and switch it out between the standard ones. You have your cigarette lighter, similar thing. So you would just plug this in as such and that is your connection made and if you want to break the connection you do the same and finally you also get just a wired connections this is for any instances where basically you want to power something else up you can just connect this same thing again the solar panel itself as you can see has quite a big surface area. On the back, you do get quite a lot of information in terms of charging rates and everything. What I'll do is I'll just post those on screen so then you can actually take a look at those if you're interested. It will be in the manual as well. Now with my particular car, I don't actually have any need for this because basically I'm using it every day. However, what I did do was before they actually sent the product out, I did get them to confirm that this does work with Canvas cars. So any of the cars, I think it was made from around about 1992 onwards they will use a CAN bus system which is essentially a brain that all of the electronics go through. The reason that's important is for pre canvas cars you can essentially just plug this in and it'll charge everything perfectly fine. However for canvas cars because everything is essentially going through a, a brain or a module if it's not designed for a canvas car it's going to do one of two things it's either going to throw up a engine management issue a light or something like that or potentially could actually burn out one of your fuses or damage one of the resistors or something like that. So they did confirm that this is set up and perfectly fine for canvas cars. And what you'll also notice is the sort of sample video that they actually sent me that does actually feature the exact same car that I've got. Probably not the exact same model, but it is a Volkswagen Passat. If your cigarette lighter input doesn't work without having ignition on, then you are probably better off using the standard crocodile clips uh, for your connection because this will go directly to the battery and it'll cut out any control units in the middle. Uh, you'd also have the option of using this particular uh, cable and then if you want to use this with a wide switch or something you could do that as well. Alongside the rest of it you do also get four suction mounts as well and the suction mounts can be placed as such on either side so you can place it on this side or you can place it on the back side and attach it no matter where wherever it's suitable. And finally, if you just take a look at the LED just here, you will see as soon as I put this into direct sunlight, it will actually start flashing and give you indication that it is receiving power. As with the previous Sun Energize solar panel, I did actually find that it was way more powerful and sensitive than the first party UFI solar panel. The camera that I've actually connected the previous Sun Energize panel to, 
remains at 100% all of the time. So that, that particular camera, even though it is quite heavy used, it doesn't actually deplete it more than it actually charges it up in any given day. And we're only just approaching what we would consider a summer sort of weather. Previous to this, and since the point I actually installed that, we've had pretty rainy and pretty overcast weather as well. So this one, even indoors, it will, it will start to actually pick up the, the actual charge. And that should mean that obviously this is able to keep whatever device, whichever battery you're connecting this to, at least trickle charged and topped up to the point where it doesn't actually become damaged. Mostly probably in, in over winter where the few hours of sunlight that you do actually get, you wanna make the most of. And that's where a nice big powerful solar panel like this would actually come in useful. Okay, so that's my first look at the new Sun Energize solar battery charger. If you do have any questions about it, obviously drop them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to contact the actual manufacturers and the, the seller and get that clarified for you. I will also have links for the solar panel in the description below as well. As always, if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and also hit that notification bell that we are notified whenever I upload any new videos. And I'd really appreciate if you also give this video a thumbs up as well. And other than that, thanks very much for watching.